Okay. We'll just say then. What, what what do you have to say about the banner? Okay. Um. So you can go through the units. Um. First unit is um. I f if I recall correctly, yeah, Marita. Um. Infantry sword. We we know the deal with that. Um. Skill wise though. Yeah. Skill wise though, her B skill is pretty stupid. <laughs> it is. It is. She Quite reduces damage. Quite she can back off. That's um, interesting. Basically, this is stupid for like a lot of units. Let's say for Gale Forces, this is incredibly stupid. <laughs> yes. Um, for Gale Forces, this is hit and run, but better. And um, for tanks, this is you turn anyone to bike for free. <laughs> or, yes. You know, for quotation marks. Um, and on bike, let's say you run speed bike, that's a 56% reduction first hit. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder how that works with bike. Does it just stack up with each other, or does it is a reduction after it's reduction? Even then, it's re crazy. Reduction after reduction, and that ups to that adds up to around fifty percent. Yeah. Above. So it's very much stupid. Yeah, and that's just that's bike's first hit. Bike's second hit would probably be like what? How much damage would we take? Uh, well, let's say I don't know. <laughs> if if he takes like. Let's let's assume uh, extremes here. Let's say he takes like a hundred damage. He's taking fifty percent of that. Yeah, but then his second hit because he gets hit twice. And then and yeah, and he gets twice. He's gonna take even less damage. Yeah, yeah. And he's also uh -huh. and he's also immune to. He's I wouldn't say immune, but he, he no longer has. He can truck up AOEs now. So, yeah. And also, you can turn anyone else into bikes. So you could just. I'm, I'm looking forward to it since I can turn my last one into a bike now. <laughs> yeah, this skill fits all, well on a lot of heroes, but they have to have some sort of speed, right? If unit speed is over foe speed, then it works. Yeah, but you can really patch up speed very easily. Yeah, that's also true. It doesn't say at start of combat or whatever, so I'm going to assume every kind of buff works. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, this okay. is a four-person banner, so pulling on red is not going to be a fun time. It's not. It's not. But the skill is very interesting. It's very, 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 very stupid too. <laughs> yeah. Now, Marita... Um, is Red Marita's sword, sword very much like Byleth's sword then? Uh, let me check. I didn't actually read it since I was more paying attention to the other skills. Um, yeah. I think so too, which means she can use Windsweep or whatever and she can still double. That's my impression mm, yeah. of it. Unless I'm yeah, wrong. it looks like it. It looks like it, yeah. Alright, so she she will have an interesting kit, but if you use wind sweep, you can't use close call. So well, there you go. <laughs> what the conundrum? Yeah, so it's uh, basically Sable Lance plus Creator Sword. That's an interesting way of looking at it. I'm, it's not completely accurate, but that's an interesting way of looking at it. She could be better, but. Uh, I just see her as fodder. I'm sorry. Just close call three is very much stupid on a ton of units, so I just can't see her any other way. So once, basically, with close call guys, one speed is four percent reduction, as Kyoya says. So you have ten speed difference, it's a reduction by forty. But yeah, that's not very hard. But as I was saying earlier, like the really fast heroes uh, could make full you you fully utilize this. There's also like something I thought of. Um, so let's say because um you know how pulse smoke works right yeah you have to like uh get into any range to actually hit it right yeah so this actually this this skill actually allows uh units to uh get uh pretty much approach a range unit uh point blank hit it and then back off back off and you could possibly back off into lancina so you could get off the pulse smoke and then back off into Lucina and just tank everything for free. Yeah, not just Lancina, but like Keaton, Caden, or whatever as well. There's several yeah. heroes that you can. It, it's a crazy good skill. Like it's so obviously crazy good. Should you pull on it? Probably not because the banner is iffy. Yeah. It's a normal banner, and it's a normal banner, and I'm, uh, I think Marita highlights it, but we'll go through the rest of it. Yeah. Anyways, Marita's sword is really good. The extra stats with using Wind I was Super hoping will be Marita would give Regnolaster like how she learned it in her OG game. Oh well, that's for you.
Yeah, she has uh, Luna just like Fall Marita. And his Ra's attack defense is pretty simple. Just don't be near someone. She buffs herself. Attack defense plus six. Attack speed solo kind of makes sense too. She's supposed to be uh, the Myrmidon kind of archetype. So more attack, more speed. And she hits a 69. Fantastic. Now, can you say this girl's name? Mistress of Fianna. Evil? Uh, Evil? I have no idea. Evil. 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 Sure, let's go with that. Demote or yes or no? Uh, mm, probably. I can't say. Um, I I can't really say because yeah, I think I think that's gonna be a demote. I'm pretty sure. I it's, can't imagine anyone else demoting. Right. Here's the thing. It's four four skills, which usually end the kids of demote. But here's the thing. The skills are actually pretty good. Attack defense form. I mean, it would be the for first form skill to demote. No, that's not the first form to skill to demote. Didn't we get a form skill demote already? Um, I, I don't think so. Okay, I... I think we've gotten ARD as a demote, not form skills yet. Mm. As if I recall correctly. Um, Guard Sword... Uh, just like talking about the... Just talking about the skill kit. Um, Guard Sword is pretty good. It is. It is basically the Hackle Answer and um, Halloween skills, but in sword form and made into accessible. The, the, okay, let's be clear. Attack defense form, the guard sword are pretty good skills. Chill attack, uh, it's demoted at this point. I mean, it's grills, technically. So you can have that easily. Ignis is whatever. I'm conflicted as heck here because guard sword, attack defense form, pretty good. But four skills, should demote. If she demotes, this is one of the best, better demotes, definitely. She should have 170 BST at least, not 175. And then she has a pretty fine kit. I'm assuming this is going to be demote. It, it makes sense, but I don't know. They might do something weird here since uh, people were expecting this to be a hero fest and it's not, so they could just do whatever, I guess. Uh, people were expecting this to be uh, far-fetched, but it's not, so they could really do whatever they want. You're absolutely correct. I'm just going to say she's pretty good and her kit makes perfect sense. Basically, defensively, have her get attacked, attack defense form, put, put heroes around here. She gets more attack and defense. That makes perfect sense. And show attack, of course, helps that out. Now, if she demotes, it'll be interesting. But I, I hope she demotes. Now, Ocean. This is another interesting hero, though completely not necessary. Because yes. here's the thing. Doesn't this yes. remind you of, like, Naga or something? No, not uh, Nagi. Nagi. Mm, in what way? In the same way of, like, get hit by AoE skills, get hit by any skills in general. Because I feel like if you have Nagi, you wouldn't need Ocean. Is basically how I see it. Because mm. Nagi's distant counter special fighter. I can't really compare the two. That really? Okay. Doesn't... No, it, uh, it, because it prefers conditional DC. And then Mirror Stance 3 is just guard, but with um double uh. Well, stance. there you go, because... Nagi has DC, Nagi has guard, Nagi has faster specials. Nagi like should utilize noontime. It's like and Nagi's also green. It just feels yeah. like if you have Nagi already, you you wouldn't even look here. But uh I mean that you, I can't really compare the two since the Nagi has special fighter and Nagi has a AoE reduction, but this Which... is also a completely different unit and also I'd say worse because of that conditional DC. <laughs> Yeah, that's conditional DC. So, if, if if it isn't obvious why I'm not excited about him, guys, I would rather have Nagi. It's just that just makes a lot more sense to me. Mirror Stance Three is um, I'd say it's interesting. I'd say it's pretty good, but I wouldn't be pulling for it if I were to say anything. Um, I think it's going to see some use, but limited use since. They're just like um, I don't know, better options, I guess. If there it was um, yeah. if it was attack defense, so like sturdy stance three, it would be a lot more practical, I'd say. Yep, it is. But as it is right now, it just only makes sense for like Ozian, who has kind of distant counter. Like a few heroes would would utilize this decently. I'm gonna bet he has really low res because generally speaking, heroes like him have really low res. They usually have like. I don't know, how high is his HP? Uh, 
I haven't checked. Hold on. But generally, heroes like him have like high defense, low speed, low res. I don't know. It doesn't show up. That looks like 42-ish. Okay, so th that seems to be like archetype. All right. Anyways, I'm not very excited about it. You guys know how he works. All right. I guess we'll we'll quickly clear that up. You guys know how he works. He gets hit. He hits them back in the meantime. He has mirror stance, so they can't get their specials off. Well, if they have their specials, they'll go off, but they can't charge their specials. He has Wrath to help the new time to heal back up so he can stay in that 50% range. Like his entire kit makes a lot of sense. But again, I would just I would just take Nagi over him. Uh he is infantry, so he moves better. That's his advantage. Unfortunately. Yep. What kills him is that conditional DC. <laughs> yep. If you fall under 50%, he's not very useful. I highly doubt he'll have high speed either, so. Yeah. I don't know. Like yeah, uh, that conditional DC is just why do you I just know. you kill them? You actually just kill them. There's no point <laughs> because the second you go under fifty percent, what do you do? Yeah, it's it's awkward, and it's it's not like DC in a weapon is super good. It would just have been DC and a and a faster cooldown. That it's not crazy. It was weird that they did that. Okay, anyways, Peony. All right, this is probably the biggest one. And if I don't sound excited, it's because it feels she feels really out of there. Uh, frankly, it's a little bit ridiculous what she can do. <laughs> yeah, it feels it feels like she, everybody just got a free legendary Azura. Ish, she's not the same thing. Yeah, but she is more. Uh, I should say usable overall, since um, you can't really bring legendary Azura all the time in AR. And other modes like that, so uh, I'd say Legendary Azura is pretty much obsolete in modes like AR because you can't bring her all the time, but you can bring this one all the time. <laughs> mm, well, light light seasons, anyways. Light seasons, yeah, but you know, um, I feel like it's frankly a little bit ridiculous that she gives, um, basically ground orders ploy. <laughs> It's not even ground orders. If they're flying, that also works. Air orders, yeah. ground orders. All uh, orders. Sh should we just... Uh, orders. She gives orders, boy. Um, <laughs> yes. What makes this even more ridiculous is that it also applies to the other unit. <laughs> yes. So you're basically double ploying for... Basically across the entire map. <laughs> yes. Like, what do you... <laughs> and... I've heard some people talk about how they can avoid stuff like uh, in the context of stuff like um, infantry pulse teams. Yeah. You can effectively split up the infantry pulse team and yeah. give ground orders across the map. That's that's what I've been saying. It's it's what I see is like a gale force team now has a lot of extra utility. If they weren't going to move well, now they move really well. And there's a lot of setups because you now have effectively three spaces of movement, and you can teleport p past walls and whatnot, right? Yeah. You could do a lot with this. Okay, so let's think about it like this, right? Uh, most problems with IP teams is that they get hard countered by pulse smoke, right? Mostly because they're all grouped up together. So you yep. get hit by pulse smoke and you're gone. With this, you can split up your IP team so the enemy can only cover half the map, basically. Oh, so that's how you see using it. Yeah, defensively, yeah. this would be crazy, too. Yeah. Um, this is honestly ridiculous for, like, both sides. Um, uh, Offense-wise, if you have two airs, it's going to be a little bit awkward since her, since most people don't want to give up the res boost. But she is pretty good as a support unit, uh, offense-wise. I mean, this is better for people who never got to pull a second air. <laughs> I mean. So you, yes, <laughs> yes, we understand this, Nims. You, you couldn't, you couldn't be bothered to save for air. So, uh, I screw is air she... and telling you. Yes. <laughs> I just told me I did the right thing. Exactly. I am a mad genius here. That never pulling for a second air worked out. <laughs> sure. But it's not just that, of course. It's because okay. The one thing that irks me so much is that she has unlimited range. It's cardinal direction, so it's technically unlimited range. Attack speed plus three. Well, I mean, it's not unlimited, unlimited. 
it still has to be within the line of across of her, right? But it's across the map. It's basically. across the map. It's crazy because now you can just grants another action target ally. Grants attack speed, defense, res plus three, and following status to target ally and allies in cardinal direction. You could be buffing somebody from the other side of the map. You can be giving them orders from the other side of the map. Like, she could literally just support your team without being anywhere near them. Not that she wouldn't have trouble getting near them. She has aerobatics, for Pete's sake. And then she also has... Right. A, she also has Flower of Joy for attack speed plus three to any ally in a cardinal direction. Yeah. It's insane. Like, she adds so much to your team. Um, Like, a lot of people are debating between um Legend User and her right now, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, It depends on the context, all right? So... Let's say you have like a rally trap set up, right? In that context, Legendary yeah. is going to be better since that helps more with like the chase. Since you have your rally trap, the rally trap goes, uh, they get danced, and they can basically cover the entire map, right? But you have, um, what's your name? Uh, shoot, I'm already forgetting names. I'm terrible at this. Um, what, Peony? Peony, yeah. Um, in her context, she gives ground orders to like everyone on the team, let's say, for the most part, if you use it properly. Um, and that's pretty good since you can basically get some pretty good coverage on the entire map, right? Yep. So it's kind of the exchange of you either can push very far into the map with Legendary Zero or you can cover a lot more space. Or you use both. <laughs> Or you, I mean, you could use both, but I don't know. It how doesn't synergize work. perfectly, I know. It doesn't synergize perfectly, but it could work. It depends. We will have to see what happens since okay. um, yeah. I'm kind of, people are just like theorizing right now what's going on here. She just came out, guys. I'm sure in like a week, everybody will have much better ideas. But yeah, that's, that's initial thoughts on her. I just feel like it's kind of ridiculous that she's free and it doesn't really make sense that they're giving us an option to pull more. I mean, no, it makes sense to give us an option to pull more of her. I mean, I just mean this banner was already not very exciting and you put her on this banner and I don't think most people will pull on it anyways. There are really only like two things that affect like the meta uh, yep. like, greatly, which is um close call three and then her. That's yep. basically it. That's Nothing else really is like huge, huge. And here's the thing with her, I think you'd only be pulling on her if you wanted more blue dual flyings or Fortress Res 4. Oh, that's actually pretty good fodder. Blue dual flying 3 and then Fortress Res 4 or Aerobags 3 and Fortress Res 4, you know. But, yeah, outside, but um, outside of that, I feel like you only need one copy and you get one copy. And she's a support hero. She shouldn't be fighting. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, for the most part. So, I mean, you already have an air, you already have. Uh, this so you're good for light season <laughs> yep you're good for light season at least every free play player no longer has to pull on light heroes so that's that's a good thing at least yeah anyways the thing yeah uh this might make ar easier or harder depending on what players get in into the higher tiers i mean now light seasons are a lot more um competitive everybody is yeah. now comp competing there yeah all right anyways um enough about her i feel like I mean, she even it comes with Fortify Res 4. Like, that's just another kicker, I guess. She's excellent. Now, my, my only concern is... This this banner is... You would just go for blue, basically. Because going for Marita would be problematic. You got just as much chance for Marita as the other girl. And she might demote. So that wouldn't feel right if you got her. Oh yeah, her sets are in the trailer. Yeah, let's go over that real quick. Yeah. 45 attack, 36 speed, 16 defense, 27 res. Oh my god. It's it's eh. it's air. Except for yeah. more HP. But it's basically and also, air. And blue. And blue. And foam. Holy crap, do you guys see this? It is okay, chat, look at this. 36 HP versus 43. Yes, we told we said there would be an HP difference, but here's the thing. 46 attack. 45 attack. 37 speed, 36 speed, 14 defense, 16 defense, 47 res versus 34 res, because they ch change HP to res, which helps her in ether rates to fight off debuffs, I guess. They're essentially the same. 
Obviously, the big change is um, the weapon, so, you know. Obviously, the big change is the weapon, and that she's a support hero, but they basically took the same stats. This is slightly reworked. I mean, yeah, this is just support air. <laughs> let's, you know, let's just call her that, sure. It's support air. Not that air wasn't already support. I, most people would just use her as a like, smart body. Yeah, I think, frankly, the most painful but part about this entire thing is it took wrong. us an entire, entire book to get another light hero. <laughs> Uh, book 4 is just ALO. Prove me wrong. I can't. It is ALO. AL ALO from Sword Art Online. I mean, Sword Art Online was yeah. the first version. But it's the same idea. Like, I, I don't know. Fairies everywhere. I'm sorry. I, I, I'll I tell you I'll tell you the honest truth. Even with SAO, the first half was better. Alright? The SAO portion was good. The, the, the ALO portion was crap. <laughs> what? I wouldn't call SAO good, honestly. No, it, the SAO as a whole wasn't good, but the first half was fun. The first I'd half, say it, I'd say it was decent. The first half was fun. The second half was fun for the wrong reasons, mostly because of the incest thing. I was having fun for that. And of course you would, your nims. Yeah. Anyways, we'll move on. Hmm. I mean, overall, this banner is kind of a skip. Yeah. If you already have two air, but I mean, it's even then you could skip it because you you should get a free one. I don't, did they announce that? I don't think they announced that. What did they like give us any indication that we're gonna get her free? Free what? Uh, the unit. Uh, I'm, you I'm still can't say her name. I forget names. I'm okay. bad with names. I'm Gildy sorry. or whatever. Yes, she's Gildy. free. They said that in the channel. We just have okay. to complete a certain map, so free. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I just skipped I just skimmed that entire thing, so you know. I guess in the story now we fight Veronica and her brother. Wait, what Again. the fuck? You're 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 effing kidding me. We just saved the world with this girl and we're now gonna fight her. This story is trash. At what Can point we do we have a Oh my god! What was the point of all that? We Nims. saved the world, and now we're gonna go back to fight each other. Nims, I can't. I can't believe you're still taking this story seriously. I'm um, not. There's literally <laughs> a rainbow going across the map. What are we supposed to do? Find the pot of gold here? Ask a leprechaun to get a better story? This uh, game feels so awful right now. Okay, whatever. Yes, yeah, sorry. I, go basi ahead. I, I basically gave up on just like everything doing with the story the second they gave us. There was one particular moment where I was just like, okay, this story is an entire joke. Like, I can't even take it seriously for a second. It was when they did a bunch of lore drops during the Easter event for TT. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, was that, was, that was abysmal. Why did they do that? Why couldn't they put it in normal story, you know? <laughs> they, they decided, okay, the best way to do this, let's do it on a seasonal TT where everyone's dressed up as rabbits. This is clearly going to go well. Also, they've always established the seasonal TTs have no bearing on the story, and then for suddenly to, to drop actual story. No. No, that was wrong. Let's do one of the biggest lore drops in a seasonal. This makes perfect sense. I I couldn't. I, I, did, I just laughed. I, uh, I couldn't. I, I know, I can't either. But here's the thing, guys. Come on. We're literally fighting. Can you believe this is now an actual map in this game? I'm, I'm sorry, like, it's so hard to take the series at this point. This looks like a seasonal at best. No, this is an actual map we're getting now. Whatever, yeah. it's, it doesn't really matter. But I'm just saying, like, these little things are just rubbing me the wrong way. Oh, yeah, and here's our free hero, Tanya. I mean, she's probably going to be like Norn. Which is pretty good. I guess. I guess it's another option for free-to-play Colorless Archer 170 BST. Oh, she comes with a Nina's bow. Shining bow. Yeah, shining bow. I, I noted that too. Um, That's good to have a, a demote. It wasn't a good bow, so. Yeah. I mean, I would know. I have like three Nina's that I'm never using. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I, I guess that's that. Uh, any final remarks? Uh, If you have uh, two air, skip this banner. If you. I mean, we're going to get her for free, so you should still probably skip this banner. I'm skipping the banner. Let's uh, let's say uh let's say you fired air for some reason. Uh, you you could probably pull on this. Uh, I wouldn't recend it because this is still the three percent banner. 
you're right about that. If you fought her in air and you want to... Because you could run her... You technically can go into every light season battle of two dancers. And two insane dancers, too. See, Nims, this is this is like the big joke that uh, people were talking about. Uh, if Azura's ever bonus again, or if any dancer's gonna be a bonus, you could run three <laughs> dancers and score optimally. <laughs> yeah. So, that's, that's honestly like a big meme. Um... I would not spend on this banner. This is not worth it. Let's say you want to get a close uh, call three. Even then, I wouldn't say it's the best idea. Yep. And it's it, this is honestly like the saddest part. It's not here for us. So what's the point? Yep. yep. I would wait for Fiony if you really want her to come on a legendary banner or a mystic banner or whatever. That's just, just wait for her. She will be on that eventually. This current banner... I basically could say Po for Marita, but Marita is also red with a hero that might demote. So if you get the other hero, that's the extra feels bad. So yeah, I can't suggest it. 